right, we got Watts in the house, Watts man. Watts is in the building. It's your boy, Six Reasons, a.k.a. SI2 Slants, a.k.a. The Loser. Man, he say loser for life, Six Reasons. How did you get that name, man? Well, actually, you know, my alias, The Loser, that's just, I represent all the people that they counted out, man. The high school dropouts, the county recipients, the uh, baby daddies, deadbeat fathers, minimum wage workers, you know, people that's recycling cans, everybody that they basically counted out, man. I represent them, you know what I'm saying? I'm like the mascot for the losers because I'm living proof that a loser can win because I'm winning like a mom. If you don't believe me, check the score. Man, so basically, man, you're saying that if you start off on the low side, you can always come to the high side. Oh, yeah, man. It's been a long climb, man. I got calluses on my hand. It's been a long climb to the top, but we almost there. You know, I, I couldn't have done it without y'all really supporting me and, and supporting my movement. And it, it all started with a, a, a hope, a prayer, and a wish. Right, right, right. So tell the people a little bit about you and what you've done, man. Oh, for those of y'all who don't know me, you know, Six Reasons, a.k.a. SI2 slash The Loser, Snowman Entertainment, young CEO. You know, I had to step my game up a, a while back to, to uh, make the trans transformation from a check casher to a check writer. Right. So I started my own record label, me, uh, Chalk Nitty, KP, Free KP. He down right now, Free KP. So dibbling, dabbling into the business aspect of this and dibbling, dabbling in the streets, I decided, well, yo, I'm going to take my chances in Hollywood because I'm going to end up going to the bank more times than I go to jail. That's so right. I'm, I'm going to take my chance. Now I'm just a thug in the suit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm a thug in the suit and, and taking care of business, you know, and I've been blessed to do uh, major motion pictures, you know. Right. I just did a gridiron game with Exhibit in the Rock. I did, you know, I can go on and on, movies with Chino XL. I had the biggest guest star last season on The Shield. I booked the movie opposite of uh, Morgan Freeman, you know. So you're just corporate thugging now. You're just getting your corporate thug on. Oh, yeah, man. I'm just being a thug in a suit, man. It's, I'm just being blessed and it's fortunate that, that uh, I got people out there that really support everything I do. You know right, what I'm right. saying? And I'm here to really motivate them, man. You know, that's why today you don't see me draped up and dripped out. None of the jewelry, no earrings, uh, no chains, no bracelets, no watches. No watches because I don't got time. You know, that's the thing of the new year. You know, it's two major words of this new year. Motivation and beneficial. You don't want to deal with nobody that doesn't have motivation and don't do anything that's not beneficial. I'm not even going to speak to you if it's not beneficial. You know, don't feel bad. I still love you. But, uh, you know, I got kids to feed and bills to pay. That's and, uh, right. Leisure conversation. Do not put food on my plate, you know. And a lot of times people see me. And they like, man, they congratulate me on the things I did, but they don't really understand how, you know, the dues I paid to get to where I'm at, man. They don't even understand, like, how I used to come out here to the city of the Rose, uh, hook up with Mike, give him my last $50, $100, whatever, to get a few tracks from him. It didn't even matter, you know, when we was just operating off of the uh, DH5 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. It didn't matter. Or uh, recording in the closet. I did whatever it took, man, flying around the world with a one-way ticket with $20 in my pocket. <laughs> Knowing when I land, nobody's there to pick me up from the airport, and all I got is my two comrades and a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Right. Speaking of which, Money, Power, Respect, Fame, Fear, Love, that's the album coming soon, and it come with a free DVD, and you know I got to bless you off with something right here. This is fresh off the grill right here. Just, just, just got finished last night. You the first dude with a copy, and that, that's the DVD that come on my album. It's called Street Certified. Man, we got that street for certified kicking it right there. Thanks from Mr. Six. 50 Reasons. Cent, uh, Buster Rhymes, Floyd Mayweather, Lil Flip, almost anybody you can think of is on there, man. I'm endorsed by some of the today's powerhouses. You know what I'm saying? They endorsing me. It's like they chose me and my crew to be the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? So speaking on that, man, you about to represent the West, man, in this music game, man. How how hard, not really how hard has it been, but how are you going to make that power move? I mean, you know, the West is here, but you got game and these other cats, man, you know, but they got a lot of talent in Watts. How are you going to bring it out and just go hit them hard, man? Basically through unity. I mean, Bang. where I come from, 
Ballers don't hate on ballers. Uh, I ain't never seen a man in a Hummer roll up on another man in a Hummer and say, your Hummer ugly. So where I'm from, cats with talent ain't hating on cats with talent. You know what I'm saying? Right. I hear a dude that's, that's, that's awesome. I say, man, little buddy hard. I need to do a song with little buddy. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's right. why when I come out here to the city of the roads, I deal with the, the dudes that's really kicking up dust out here. S-Class, Poet. Mike T, Studio Mike, you know what I'm saying? That's right. And I, and, I, and I kick up dust that way. But I have people still come up to me where I'm from, like, yeah, let me battle you. You know, let us battle and this and that and the other. And it's like, yo, man, I, I don't do that. You know, if you want to battle, let's battle in record sales or let's battle in um, ticket sales. Let's sell out a venue. Let's do something that's going to that's gonna get us paid. You know what I'm saying? Change. I really don't partake in that whole battle lyrical type thing. I'm more of a songwriter. That's right. And that's a tip to a lot of these cats that's coming up today. You know, the industry to make industry money, you got to make industry songs, little buddy. So, you know, stop putting all your emphasis on your punchline and go out and make a hit song that they can really enjoy in a club and go make a hit song that they can really enjoy uh, while they're riding around listening to it. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. that's what I do. You right there. So you say take it more than one hot punchline, keep it up. No, you got to look far beyond that, man. You want to make industry money, you got to make industry music. You know what I'm saying? Like on this album, I got like eight singles. Right. One album. Like I had like 40 something songs for this one album. Okay. You know, and it was just some, it was, it was more so of putting together a, a good album, you know, more so than um, song for song. How many uh, producers do you work with, man? Oh man, first of all, Studio Mike, Mike T, you know, that's been my backbone. Like that right there, the things that I've done with Mike is what really got me to where I needed to go. It was this, we did this one song called Take Off That Little Chain. And that was one of the songs that really put me on a map that I can take and, and hand to the, the head execs and the A&Rs and they turned the light on me. It's the reason why now I can go to uh, Key you know, who produced for Lil Flip, uh, did a tour with uh, Kanye West and John Legend, Mike Jones, and go and get production from him. Right. Mike is the reason why I can go to uh, B from Deep Waters, who produced for Mac Dre, uh, Mac Maul, E-40, the cats out in the bay, and go and get production from him because of the foundation Mike laid for me. You know what I'm saying? Right, and now right. it's like, you know, they spending my songs on K-Day, so you can go ahead and call and request that, six reasons. You know, call K, they request it up, uh, Snowman Click. You can, they spending me all day. Thanks for the love, you know. You can go to MySpace. Everybody got a MySpace, man. I heard that's how they caught Saddam Hussein's stupid self. He got a MySpace. <laughs> I heard that's how they got him. Say they had Saddam MySpace, MySpace. Uh, six reasons. Or you can go to my website, snowmanclick.com. You know, look me up on MySpace, six reasons. But it was really Mike that really laid that foundation. I really... I owe that dude a lot of credit for what he did that opened up those open up those doors for me. Right, right. Like that. Right. Well, if you build on a strong foundation, man, everything gets better. Man. Oh, man, you, know? you can't do nothing without laying a foundation first. You That's feel right. Me? So th with that said, he helped me and helped me build my reputation and helped me build my resume because it ain't too many people. And you can go see a lot of people talk a good one. But everything I say, you can go IMDB, search me. Internet search me and my resume will pop up. The things that I did and the people that's endorsing me, you know what I'm saying? It'll pop up. So I'm not just out here talking that talk. I'm also walking that walk in a major way. And I'm just trying to put my city on the map, you know? That's right. And I got, I got a cut on my album with a Spider Low from G Unit. Uh, I got Glasses Malone. He from Watts, you know, just got to deal with Sony. I got some stuff coming up with him. I work with a few cats. I've been fortunate. I've been blessed and I've been fortunate. You know what I'm saying? I did some stuff with Grown Mo, which, you know, he's also an actor. He didn't did more TV than TV did TV. That's you know, right. he, he was the quarterback in Gridiron Game. Okay. You know, Bonfire Entertainment, shots out to him. So it's like, I just want to grab hands and let's say, hey, you be the quarterback, you the halfback, you on the offensive line, and that's how we're going to organize this coming this organized. And we're not going to stop it. Stop hating on each other. Because cats with talent shouldn't have to hate on cats with talent. That's you 